Welcome to the narrowboat at Jamesville. Hope you're well, thanks for joining me. As you can tell, Rat is outside and uh, work is starting. So I think he's gonna take off the coupling and uh, start to have a look at it all. I am now surrounded by my bike and my deck. Well, there's my stern deck. And the actual stern deck is now looking like this. I've had to remove three of the joists. That one there was nice and simple, just unbolted. This one there, unbolted there and there, and then I had to cut it. Same with this one here. So I can replace that, but basically I couldn't have, for me to have undone those joists, I'd have had to take all of this apart, which there's no way I'm doing that. So that'll suffice. And at least this means that rat can get in there okay it's not ideal still but it's as best as it can be on a springer or on this particular springer Looks like it's sheared off, doesn't it? You can kind of see a gap through there. Anyway, he's on his way. And just as a uh, FYI narrowboat hands, um, the uh, guy here, Ralph, has said this contraption that you designed and installed is one of the best he's ever seen on a springer to uh, deal with this issue. So, uh, well done, mate. Proper working boatyard here. And Rat has started by taking the six bolts out of the coupling. So before I show you what they've done today, I'm gonna try to draw out how it's all kind of mapped out, uh, both for your benefit and a little bit for mine. Um, so, Basically, on any engine, you have the gearbox at the back of the engine, and that's got various cogs in it, like that, for example. And then on the back of the gearbox, at the end of the gearbox, you have a reducer, and that goes like that. And there's a cog there, which links to that one, and there's another one there, which links like that. Um, so that's the gearbox, that's the reducer. The reducer takes the speed from the gearbox and reduces it down and increases the torque. So what's coming out of here, basically the power, what's coming out of here is a, re is a, is a reduction of the speed from the power. And then that then goes onto a flange, which is basically uh, a little bit like this. If I draw really badly. Okay, um, it looks nothing like that. Uh, anyway, you kind of get the picture. So that's a flange, and then that is connected to the coupling, or to the coupler, which is kind of corresponding, bolted through with kind of six or eight bolts, and then that has a bit on it, and then from there comes your prop shaft. Um, so this is the prop shaft, that's all fine, and you got the propeller at the end of that. Um, so the coupling needs to be reduced because that was quite a big one. There's, there's not much space in there, um, but this is all fine. The problem that we've got is this bit here has been sheared off. So the, the connection between the flange and the reducer, that bit there, has been sheared off. So you are now looking at the inside of the gearbox. The reducer has been taken off and this is the gearbox part. And um, this bit, luckily, is okay. We've got to check the alignment still, but this is okay. Um, and that connects through to the prop shaft. So prop shaft's all fine. And as you can see, it's been 
pulled all the way back so we have access inside the boat. And the propeller looks pretty good. No dinks or anything. So I'll show you over here to where the reducer is. It's just a sort short swim across the car park. Uh, how do we get in here? Right around here. Here is the reducer. Right, excuse the shadows, obviously it's pitch black and I'm using a head torch. Um, these are the bits that have come off the uh, prop shaft and off the uh, gearbox. So this is the coupling. Um, and what Ralph thinks is that, well, this is quite a big coupling um, and it may have been basically pushing too much weight on the end of the prop shaft which may have caused it to snap and that's exactly what's happened although it's not the prop shaft the prop shaft is fine uh, it's this linking between um, the reducer um, and uh, and the gearbox so this is the inside of the reducer which basically comes off the gearbox and Ralph comments that he's seen quite a lot of the inside of these and despite the age of them, remarkably, they're always really pristine and in good condition. So, uh, and this one is no different. So that's all fine. Um, but it's this that snapped off. And you may be able to work out and just see there. There's a weakness in there. There's some rust spot there. And again, on that corresponding side there. So, um, this is not the prop shaft. So what Ralph thinks has happened is that there may have been a accident or something many years ago, and that this had a point of weakness and basically it was only a matter of time. And as the boat hasn't been moved for so many years and now it's done about a hundred hours in, well, since September, um, he thinks that may have, uh, that may have been the, the cause of it. So uh, the plan will be to get a new one of these. Uh, they don't make them anymore, so Ralph is relying on his connections and favours and things like that. And then we're going to basically replace the coupling with a um, with a less weighty one, a smaller one. But uh, we're going to kind of engineer backwards from this because there isn't much room to play with in that place. So that's the plan. But progress has been made which is brilliant. Well, the diagnosis is pretty much exactly what Ralph thought it was gonna be from that little bit of video that you saw a couple of weeks ago. So I know I'm in good hands here. Uh, Rat knows his stuff, Ralph knows his stuff. This is a great boatyard, they're really friendly. There's lots of stuff going on. So I couldn't be happy to break down in such a place. Um, the bits though, to be honest, we don't know how long they're gonna to take to come here. They might be a couple of days, it might be a couple of weeks, who knows, um, these parts aren't readily available. So um, we'll have to see, but hopefully um, after getting the uh, the reducer, the rest of it should be fine. This is about kind of engineering it to fit. Um, so um, yeah, it's gonna be, it should, it should be fine. Um, Ralph has had a good kind of a good look around the boat. He's He's kind of been talking to me, got decades worth of stories about working on Springers. So he knows his stuff. He says the condition of this looks really good. I said, Paul, he liked your handiwork outside on the gear linkage. So well done, mate. Um, and yeah, so he thinks it's maybe a week or two, something like that, I should be back in the water. So before I do that, I'm gonna pressure wash the outside um, and re-black it a few times. The, the, the base plate looks brilliant. The blacking is all stayed on really well, apart from it being a little bit dirty from being bashed about and stuff, but um, it's all fine. So I'm gonna re-black it a few more times. Um, the Brazilians underneath that I did at the last minute, they're all good. So yeah, it's, um, it's, all, it's all fine. I've got a bit of time tomorrow uh, on the boat, so I might tackle, um, start to tackle this unit here. Um, 
which is going to house the TV and a few other bits and pieces and kind of kindling and stuff like that. So I've got to kind of crack on with that. And that will also feature part of the doorstop. Um, so yeah, that's something to uh, to do. But other than that, um, really, I don't know when Rat will be next on board. Um, maybe when parts start to come in, we hopefully won't have to take the rudder off because we've kind of pushed it all the way back, um, which has kind of taken the prop shaft away from the engine well. So we should be able to kind of put everything back, push it back in and it all fits in. That's if it lines up. Um, and yeah, that's what the next thing is really to check the alignment. So, and if that's out, then, well, that's a different story. The engine's hard mounted. Um, so we'll have to see what we can do with that, but hopefully fingers crossed the engine hasn't shifted and it is the wear and tear on that linkage on the flange, which is, you know, why it broke. But, um, as I said, I'm in good hands here. So we'll find out more tomorrow or the next day. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.